This recipe for baked brie and puff pastry is a delicious twist on a favorite hot out of the oven appetizer with the addition of almonds. Nancy Vajvoda, the All Recipes member who submitted the recipe, notes that the almonds lend a pleasant crunch. Before starting the recipe, take half of a 17 and a half ounce package of frozen puff pastry out of the freezer and thaw it according to the package directions. Lightly grease a nine inch pie pan and set it aside for now. Once the pastry is ready, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. While the recipe says 350 degrees, puff pastry cooks and crisps up better at 400 degrees. Next, you'll slice an eight ounce wheel of brie cheese in half horizontally so that you have two thinner wheels. Unroll the puff pastry and place it in the prepared pie pan. Place half of the brie with the rind side down in the middle of the pastry dough. Sprinkle a quarter cup of sliced almonds evenly over the cheese. And then top it with the other half of the brie, rind side up this time. Now, in a small bowl, let's lightly beat one egg white with a fork. It will help seal up the pastry dough seams. Many All Recipes members suggested doing this to prevent seepage of the baked cheese. Now, brush the puff pastry dough edges with the egg white. And bundle the pastry dough up and around the cheese wheel, making sure that there are no cracks that the cheese can ooze out of. Pinch and crimp the edges so they look nice. Trim any excess dough. A few All Recipes members use the leftover dough to decorate the top. Give that a go if you like. On a clean floured surface, cut out some fun shapes with a knife or cookie cutter. We're making two leaves. Brush the dough with the egg white to glue them down. Brush the leaves, and then brush the entire top and sides with the remaining egg white. Bake the bundled cheese in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. The puff pastry should be a nice golden brown when it's ready. Let the baked brie cool for five minutes before serving. Transfer the baked brie to a platter and serve it with crackers and sliced apples. As one All Recipes member named Laura Jean notes, this is such a great basic recipe for baked brie. Try it with different preserves, dried fruits, and different toasted nuts. They all work great.